Uh, right now it's my kind of off-road trailer. It's kind of big for off-road trailer, but I'm, I'm building a new one. But this is kind of more, has a bathroom and a bed for my wife and everything. So no more, no climbing up and out of the tent. So there's my Utah Yoda sticker, my zombie apocalypse sticker. Okay, so today I'm trying to get my, this is my little trailer that I bought that I showed a video from Idaho. And you kind of see that they didn't really give me a lot of places to mount a, a uh, um, bike rack to. Because such a small trailer. They probably didn't think anybody's going to put a, a trailer hitch on it. I'm not going to pull anything. I'm just going to put my bikes on there. So as you can see, this little area right here is from, from the back bumper to the frame. And so I need to put a bracket in there on both sides. And um, and then I need to uh, hang it down a bit, and then I'm going to weld a piece of pipe that comes all the way across here. And then this is the center of the trailer. I'm going to put my, my tow hitch there, my receiver hitch right there, all the way across. And then, um, and then I'm going to bolt it to this bumper as well, just to give it some extra strength. Because I really don't have enough area that I'd that I would really prefer to make it to uh, super strong but it'll be strong enough because I'm probably gonna weld to the frame right there um, I probably will put a bolt in too just this just depends on uh, what kind of uh, um, room I have I don't have a lot of room but uh, anyway there's this is just a small little trailer and I'll show you a picture of the outside Here's my receiver hitch I'm going to be putting on. So, and it won't hang out all the way because my bike rack has a little bit of room, but it'll come out to about right here, right here. So I'm going to be uh, mounting it on there. And this is my aluminum rack that I built. Um, use my bender to bend this up. And then I make, this is to hold my water cans and then a generator if I need it. So I've got this saw. And it's an evolution um, and it does for metal cutting. I also have a blade that does my uh, aluminum and um, so uh, I have to switch it out every time I do metal and aluminum. This one's metal and this is one of those Diablos. You can kind of see there, Diablo. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna give her a cut and you'll see how easy it is. And those sanding disc ones the, are a pain. I had one of those and it burned up easy. So how easy that is, it cuts it nice and smooth. And I bent this on my bender. So I just bought a piece of flat steel and I bent it on my bender. The other side of cut. These are the brackets that are going to go down on the uh, frame there that I told you have to uh, set down each side. Then I'm going to weld my, my crossbar to it and then my receiver hitch to it. Exact, perfect bands on my bender. So, so the the width from the frame to frame back there is um, is 57 and three quarters. And then I have to allow for this to go on the sides. So I am going to give myself an eighth of an inch breathing room. So um, we're going to go to 57 and a quarter because I need a little bit of wiggle room to put it in there in case stuff isn't plumb back there. So I'm giving myself an eighth of an inch. And that won't be a problem because um, the, it should be plenty fine and I'll, I'll kind of mock it up before I put it in there. But you need to kind of get, keep things square and so I use this little speed square. And this is just regular welding paint, metal paint. I use it because a lot of times when I'm working around stuff, things 
things uh, fall off, get get rubbed off. The guy from Fab Rats, he's a YouTuber, does the same thing, but he built this nice little bracket here so you can slide it in and out. I wish this one had it, but it doesn't. So you have to do a lot of training. Sometimes it gets bound up because they get dirty. So. So basically what this is going to do is, this is going to mount like so, on here like this, you hang it down from the trailer, and you hang it down from the trailer, and then I'll weld that on, and then this will be hanging up the house, and I'll probably weld this to the frame. I'm, I might just bolt it, we'll see. Uh, I'd rather bolt it because in case I want to take it off, but I don't have a lot of room, so we'll see what's going on. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the brackets are right there. And there's the other bracket over there. There.
Wind's blowing my gas away. This side didn't turn out very good. I'll have to grind it down and do some more. And we'll see how. Doesn't shut off on with the trigger. The trigger's busted. But it does its job. So now I just got to find the center of this, and then I'll tack this into place, and then I'll weld this bubby on, and then I'll put this up on the. Then I got to put my side piece. This isn't going to be holding a ton of weight, or else I'd use a little bit thicker steel than this. It's only an eighth of an inch. Excuse me, three sixteenths of an inch. Three sixteenths of an inch. But all it's holding is a mountain bike, so about 500 pounds. And then I'll it'll look like that. And I'll stick it up in there. And then I'll drill some holes through here and bolt it to the bumper. Then it should be fine, plenty strong enough for mountain bikes. And a root, uh, cargo rack or anything like that.
So here's the finished product. 
I need, I'm going to weld this. This is weld through primer. This is what it looks like. It's going to be going on. And then I'm going to weld through this. This is weld through primer. So and then I'll have to put some Raptor liner on that once it's uh, on the trailer. But uh, there's the uh, finished product. Not too shabby. Okay, so I wanted to finish up the video. I got it installed. As you can see, I got it all bedlined. Um, this is my shelf I made out of my aluminum. So got that all made, and I put my four bolts on there to give it some more support. And I got my welded there, and I got it welded over there. And underneath here, I had to weld it up in there. You might not be able to see. Let me change my light here. So you can kind of see up in there. And I bolted it on. Then I put another weld on that side. So it's all welded all the way around. And over here, it's all welded. Right there. And I welded it up on that side. Over there. And... I welded it up here. There, on top. So there, this piece bends over and it's welded on both there and there. So that's the finished uh, trailer hitch for my little trailer that I bought. Step up from my rooftop tent because I, sometimes I want to be more luxury. So anyway. Thanks for watching you Toyotas.